Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to my sixth Python 3 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be uh, continuing um, from my last tutorial, kind of, and talking a little bit about, about, about uh, default argument values in functions and local variables in functions. So I'm going to start out with default argument values. And basically, that's, that's kind of exactly what it sounds like. It's a default value for um, an argument. So when you're calling a function, you don't have to put in a value for that argument. Um, because there'll be a, a default one. So the, the, the best way for me to explain this is just to show it uh, to you. So let me make a function. I'm going to call this function func. And the parameters, it'll be a, b, and c. And what this is going to do is it's going to print a equals comma a, oops, not c, b equals comma b, and c equals crap. I'm a c. All right, so that's what it's going to do. So now let me call the function. I'm just going to do a is going to be 1, b is going to be 2, and c is going to be 3. So you can see a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals 3. Uh, a is 1. I mean, yeah, you can see that. So anyway, so let's say, like, if you wanted to call the function, you only wanted to assign a value for a, it won't work because you'll get an error. And this is where default argument values come in. So let me, I'm going to make the same function except with default argument values. And the only change that I'll have to do is up here in my parameters. And uh, so I'm going to have A, you have, to, you have to put in a value for A every time. But for B and C, I want it to have a default value. And all you do is after the parameter name, you put an equal sign and then what you want that value to be. So I want B to have a default value of 2 and C to have a default value of 3. Then I'm just going to make my body. I'm just going to copy and paste this from up there. And um, now let me call the function. Um, because B and C have default values, I, this time I only have to put in a value for A. And I'm going to put in a value of A of 5. And now you can see A equals 5, B equals 2, and C equals 3 even though I didn't put in values for those while I was calling the function because they have a default value um, it's, it just puts in the default um, I mean that's pretty simple and you don't, I mean, you don't necessarily have to uh, use the default value so like if I'm calling the function I want a to be 5 and b to be 6 um, then I can just do this um, so you can see a is 5, b is 6 and c is the default value of 3 but let's say I wanted to do a as 3 and C as 1, but I, I wanted to leave B as the default value. Then what I do is I do C equals 2, or 2, whatever. And um, so you can see I put A as 3, and since I did not specify B, it's this default value, and I just went straight to C and said C equals 2. Um, so it put C as 2. So argument values, I mean, they're pretty easy to, to get, pretty easy to do. Um, and uh, you, I mean, you use them in your code when like you you want to make make a function with some values and some of the values you don't necessarily want to change all the time and you want to have them as a default value uh, and actually python some of python's built-in functions uses uses uh this a lot like the print function actually does um if i if you bring up this little box here you can see the separator has a default value of just a blank space end has a default value of a new line and file has a default value of sys.stdout. Um, so that's basically it on default values. Now, uh, local variables. Basically, what a local variable is, um, it's a variable that's defined inside of a function, but it's not related in any way to a variable of the same name outside the function. So let me show you what I mean. Um, I'm going to have a, a f variable named x that has a value of 42. Now, I'm going to make a function. So actually, first, let me, uh, let me just, I'll just hit X and hit Enter, and you can see it's 42. Um, that's the value inside the variable. Now I'm going to make a function, um, no parameters, and then I am going to have it also have a variable X inside of it that is equal to 30. And then I'm going to print X. So now if I call that function, it'll print 30, because what is ha what's happening here is this X that I created up here that's a global variable because it's outside of any function. So um, if I if I call x right now, it's still 42 because this x inside of the function is a local variable. 
and it's only 30 inside of that function. It's completely unrelated to this x out here. It just has the same name, um, which is why if you do this, you, you want to make sure you stay away from uh, having variables have the same names because that can get really confusing. Um, that's, that's the best way to uh, avoid this type of situation. Just make sure you don't have a variable outside of the function and inside the function with the same name. Um, now, let's say you wanted to change this, ver this x, this global x. Um, you wanted to change the value inside of the function. Now, that's really easy to do. So let me make the function. And now, instead of saying x equals 30, because we already saw that didn't work, first you have to type in the statement global and then the variable name, which in this case is x. And this is basically saying, I want to mess around with uh, the variable the variable x, um, the global x though. So I want to actually change the, be able to change the value of the global x. Um, and so uh, what now, now I just do x equals 30. And I could print x if I wanted to, it doesn't really matter. But uh, so now if I call the function, you can see x is 30. And now if I actually um, ask Python to show me the value of x outside of the function, it's 30 because it's it's no longer 32, 42. That was replaced because I was in this function dealing with the global value of x. Um, so uh, you know that one more thing. When I also if you make a function and you do it like this, and since x is 30 right now, if I do like x plus 2, I'll say return x plus 2. Um, this is going to use the global value, uh, the global value, yeah, the global variable x. Because um, because it's only if you try to like declare a variable inside of a function that it would use a local variable. But since I haven't declared a value uh, a local variable for x in this function, it's going to use the global value of uh, the global variable x. All right, so that's it for this uh, this tutorial. I showed you a little bit about uh, default argument values in Python and. Um, those are pretty easy. All you have to do is just have equal and then what you want the default value to be when you're making the function. And then when you call the function, you don't have to put in a value for uh, that argument. And then uh, local variables, which is a little bit confusing, and it's always best to stay away from that by not having a, v a variable with the same name as an outside variable. Just, just stay away from that. And unless you want to edit the variable inside, which you would just, you would just use uh, like global the statement global. Um, Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.